Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie and my channel is Light Fragments Oracle. How are you all doing this fine Easter weekend? Happy Easter to everyone. I wanted to talk to you about some new products that I received this past week. I have a lot of them, but today I'm only featuring a few from different companies, some skincare and some makeup. I'm going to briefly show you the products and then I will explain them as I apply my makeup. So the first product that I wanted to show you that I ordered is a luxury product. I consider it luxury from Clarins of Paris. And it is the Total Eye Lift. I watched a content creator use this product and she said that it really has helped the wrinkles under her eyes. Now she is much younger than I am. Because of her recommendation, I decided to take the plunge. This product costs $92 and it is 15 mils inside of this container, 0.5 ounces net weight. And it is a lift replenishing eye concentrate. I've been using this for a couple of days and it is luxurious. I would say that in about two to three weeks, I will come back and let you know if I see any difference, but I absolutely love it. It doesn't sit under my eyes. It sinks in. It doesn't cause me to have any problems with my eyes, no burning, no tearing of my eyes. I absolutely love it since I started using it, and I'm going to apply this today. But in order to get free shipping, I needed to have about $100 worth of products, which is a lot. But I said, okay, I to purchase the hand and nail treatment cream. This is so nice. I put it on my hands this morning. I don't know if you guys can notice, but right around my knuckles. It's very, very dry. And I've told you in the past that my hands and around my nails, because of my job, gets a beating. So this is pretty small. This is 30 mils or one ounce net weight, but you do not need a lot of this product. It spreads so nicely and this cost me $13. So because of just this one product, I reached my $100 goal to get free shipping as well as a box of products from Clarence free. And among these that I've tried so far, is the Extra Firming Jour Cream, all skin types. This is a facial day cream. And this is a sample size of 0.5 ounces. Again, I've been using this for a couple of days and I cannot believe how nice my skin feels. It's, it, is complete luxury and it's been about a year since I've ordered luxury products that are this expensive. This didn't cost me anything. It was in my free sample box that I got for reaching a hundred dollars worth of products. The other product that I've tried is and I have it on my lips, is the Lip Protector. I love this because it has a 
sponge applicator and you just squeeze it a little bit and the product comes out the tip and you can apply it to your lips. And I put this on and it's still on my lips. I will be putting this on at night. I will be putting this on my nightstand to use every night when I go to bed. So I love this product. And I really love the nail and hand treatment. When this is gone, I'll, I will be getting the bigger size. So that's it for Clarins. The next product that I purchased is from Emco Beauty Company. It is a foundation. Miracle Flawless Skin Foundation. And I have the tone natural beige. I have applied this. It is buildable coverage, but you don't need a lot to get full coverage. We will be using this. There is a slight problem with the packaging, but I will discuss that when I apply it. And the last product that I want to feature for today's video is the e.l.f. Putty Color Correcting Eye Brightener. I have also used this. I really like it. It, it doesn't seem to crease a whole lot under my eyes. And I applied it with a brush and no other concealer. So let's get into this video, shall we? How are you all doing? I will be doing either a card reading or a live. If I do not do it this weekend, which I don't think I'm going to because it is Easter weekend. And, um, but we have a storm coming again this week, if you can believe it, the first week of April. And I might not be traveling on one of those days. So I will be doing either a card reading or a live, two hour live, one card per person live reading. So I will put all of the information for that in my community tab. So keep a lookout for that. One other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is regrettably I cannot use any Koki eyeshadow. I have two palettes and I can't use them. The Arabian Nights, I used their eyeshadow yesterday. I used royalty on my eyelid. And by the end of the day, I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to take my eye makeup off. This causes, these eyeshadows cause my eyes to feel itchy as if there's something in my eyes. Even though I check and there's nothing in my eyes, my eyelids itch. And I really started to feel it towards the end of the day. And I said, that's it. I'm, I'm going to have to give this eyeshadow palette away. I have only used one, two, a little bit of this one, this one, and I tried this color um, on my finger. But the rest of these I have not used. If any of you are interested in this, I will gift it to you after spraying alcohol on it but I can't wear it. And I absolutely love the pigmentation in this palette. So let me know in the comment section, first come, first serve, if anybody would like me to send this palette out to them, I will do it free of charge. Okay, let's get on to putting on the foundation. My experience with this foundation was less is more. The heavier you put it on, the worse it feels. So even when you put on less of it, it is a great coverage foundation. 
I paid $26.69 for it and approximately $9 for shipping and handling. So that's about the right amount of money for a cheaper, as in financially cheaper, foundation. And a little bit about Emco Beauty. Emco Beauty was launched in 2022 in Australia, founded by Shelley Sullivan, who created the brand in 2019. It is vegan and cruelty free, and it is known as Australia's leading Lux for Less makeup company. So word has it, rumor has it, that these products mimic or dupe a lot of the higher end products on the market today. And if you go on to mcobeauty.com and you check out some of the products, you will notice even the packaging looks very similar to some of the higher end foundations and powders and whatnot. So lip oils, um, you know, cheek tints, whatever. So let's get started putting this foundation on. I am going to use my Echo Tools foundation brush, which is actually my favorite foundation brush. I love this brush. I've had it for years. It has stood the test of time. And this is what the tone looks like. I have a lot on here because Epic Fail, the component. When I unscrewed the cap, I believe this has a pump. The pump is stuck inside the cap. I cannot get it out. And then when I put the cap back on, watch this. It just turns and turns and turns and turns. It never completely shuts. And that's because the pump is inside the cap. So there needs to be some quality control on the components at M Co Beauty. But, you know, it happens. It happens with the best brands. I'm going to take this foundation brush, tap a little bit of it in, and I, and the Clarins moisturizer is a beautiful canvas to put on foundation. I do not have a primer on. I, the three layers would just be too much. So look at the coverage. I barely tap that in. Barely. I barely tap that into my foundation. And that is going to cover one complete side of my face. I'm going to take it down my neck. Try not to get it into my hair. So many women my age or older are still applying skincare and makeup to their skin. And when you use terminology like anti-aging, you're including women like us that it's not okay to age. And it is a privilege to age. So for all of you older women out there, do not be deterred by the terminology instead speak up and speak your mind and let these beauty brands know that you want to be included in their beauty brands as a pro aging 
viable individual in society, many of us still working. Many of us still want to look our best when we go out into the world. And a lot of us, because of our lives in the past, getting married, raising children, working jobs, we have become physically and emotionally and psychologically tired. And the last thing that we think about is taking care of ourselves and allowing the beauty that we have inside of us to shine through, as well as self-care and how we feel about ourselves and how we look. There is nothing wrong if you are 50, 60, 70 years old and above using skincare and putting on some makeup. There is nothing wrong with it. So this is one side of my face. I did streak over here a little bit, but this is one side of my face with one application of this foundation. I'm gonna do the other side of my face. So we have with, and we have without. The color match I think is really nice. You can, you can see how well it matches. I'm going to tap these areas because of my pores and I don't have a primer on. I go lightly over my lips now because of my wrinkles right here. Okay, enough with the foundation. This is how much I still have left. Now with the Clarins, I did not put foundation underneath my eyes. It might have looked that way, but I didn't. I'm going to put a little bit of eye cream just under my eyes since I put foundation on the top. I want you to see how nicely this goes on. It is so light. You can't even tell that that, that is cream. It is so light and it glides so beautifully. You just need a tiny little bit of it, which means that that $92 bottle is going to last me a long time. I saved some money so I could purchase the, these luxury products. And I can understand why women lean towards luxury. And they're looking for what is best for them in that regard because there's nothing like it. It just feels so amazing. Do they have to charge that much money? No, they don't. But, you know, creating makeup and creating skincare properly, Paris, Italy, those places that are well known for creating luxury brands, they take their time when they create their products and they put a lot into it. Um, Lisa Eldridge, she researches and researches before she creates her products. Pat McGrath, same thing. And you're, you're paying a lot of money for the brand, but you're also paying for all of the hard work and their money that they have put in to their products. And it dries. It just dries and sinks right into the skin. So yeah, I will come back in three weeks and let you know how that works. Now I'm going to take the e.l.f. Putty Eye Brightening Concentrate, which looks like this. I'm trying to get my camera to focus here. I've been using my front-sided camera because it's just easier for me. Might not be as crisp, but it's easier for me. 
and I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to dab my brush into the eye brightener. And I paid $6 for this and it will last me a long time. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the putty under my eyes where I want some concealing even up here a little bit and i'm going to let the warmth of my skin warm up the brightening putty it feels thick but once it warms up it it spreads really nicely you can even go under your eye a little bit some people like myself, we have a shadow underneath our eyes. Okay, let's let that sit a little bit. And I'm going to take my ring fingers and I'm just going to tap it. Elf has some great products. I bought more products that I will be showing you in my next makeup videos. Okay, that's what the eye brightener looks like. I could use a little bit more. So I'm going to go back with my brush and I put some on one side and then I put some on the other side so I can do both eyes. And I'm just going to drag it down in the tear trough right here. Flip the brush over and do the same on the other side. Now you can powder under your eyes if you want to, but I'm not going to. And I'm just going to gently pat that in as well. I'm using the You Can Be Twilight palette. I haven't reached for this in a long time. And I'm going to be using this peach color right here on my eyelid. This color right here on the outer edge. And this color right here under my eyebrow to match my shirt and it is Easter weekend. I'm going to be using this brush to pack on my eyeshadow on my mobile lid. And you can see right away that it is a beautiful, soft, matte peach. I guess I will be doing a decluttering of my eyeshadows, which means that I'm going to have to every day try a different palette and get rid of the ones that I can't wear. So far, Koki is the only one that I cannot wear. Some colors really bother my eyes. Um, the art palette that I have with all of the bright colors by Urban Decay, I, I can do creation on my eyes with those colors strictly for video, but I do have to take, take it off because of the pigment in the eyeshadow. It's just so strong. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go lighter with the same brush. I'm just going to wipe it off on my microfiber cloth. And I'm going to take this off-white, almost pale yellow, and put it under my eyebrows. I have not done my eyebrows yet. I wanted to put my eye makeup on, on camera.
this brush is from Unique. Do you remember that company? I don't even know if they're still around, but I purchased some brushes from that company many years ago. And it's a really nice natural hair bristled brush. And it's perfect for packing on eyeshadow. I'm going to take a smaller brush, similar shape, and I'm going to use this color right here on the outside edge. I'm just going to place the brush right here and drag it over. No blending yet. Place and drag. Place and drag. I'm dragging to the center of my eye. <clears throat> okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little smudge brush, which is what it's called, and I'm going to take the tip, the tip, and I'm just going to tap it in that eyeshadow. <clears throat> and I'm going to just gently bring it under my eye, towards the center of my eye. Same with this side. Just going to drag it under and bring it to the center. Now, this is the fun part. I think it's the fun part. I'm going to blend this in my crease. This is my Sigma Larger Fluffy Blending Brush. I'm just going to put it right where it was, and I'm just going to bring it over in circular motion in my crease. And then I can do the windshield wiper. Now this eye already has a sort of a crisp look to it. I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to place my brush. I'm going to circle it a little bit, and then I'm going to do the windshield wiper in the crease of my eye and bring it over. I'm going to take this color right here, which is a shimmer. And I'm going to put it just in the center of my eye. And I'm going to go up a little bit with it. That's beautiful. This is a really nice palette, by the way. I loved it when I got it, and I'll continue to love it. Give me some love. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with my blending brush. And I, I want to keep it in the center. So this is how I'm going to do it. Light-handedly, I'm going to take the bottom of, take my hand and use just the bottom of the brush and hold my arm close in to my bosom. And then I'm just going to go back and forth like this all the way up. And it softens it. So for you ladies that still like to use shimmer on your eyes and people are telling you not to do it, that's a technique for you. Okay. You know what? I'm going to put on some blush while you guys are here. Because I used a different blush brush the other day with my new e.l.f. blush. And I had great results with how it looked. I'm using this brush, which I can use for powder. I can use it for bronzer. I can use it, you know, for um, powder bronzer. And I can also use it for... Did I say blush already? 
Okay, whatever. I'm repeating myself. So I'm just going to tap it in. I'm finding that this has a lighter touch with using this brush. So I'm going to tap it in and then tap it off because there's a high kick up to this e.l.f. blush. And I'm just going to do the tops of my cheeks. See how much lighter that is compared to when I used it on my Perbel video? Same deal, this side. So if you don't want to look like a clown, it depends. You know, some days you just might want to be extravaganza. You know, you might want to be. And nobody should judge that. I mean, I understand when people say, I hate it when people do this. I hate it when people do that. I don't know. I think the world would be a better place if we just minded our own business. Don't you? It's okay to talk to your friends like that face to face, but. Leave us alone. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Won't you leave me alone? Just leave me alone. <laughs> I'm going to use my Jacqueline. I don't even know if Jacqueline's still in business. This is the one that smells like cocoa. Oh, every time I put this on, I love it. Wasn't it Helen Reddy that sang that song? Leave me alone, just leave me alone. Won't you leave me alone, just leave me alone. Because we want respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. That's what it means to me. All right, and I'm going to put a little bronze around I here. Be back with the finished look. And we'll call it a day. Okay, friends, this is the finished look. I wanted you to see my face completely done. I used my Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner, and I made a really dramatic eyeline on my eye today. And then years ago, I want to say two years ago, I ordered two perversion, bigger, blacker, batter, urban decay <laughs> mascaras. One of them I had to throw away because it was, it was opened and I used it and I didn't want to use it on my eye. But this one was never opened. So I used this as a mascara today. As far as their mascara, it's okay. I mean, you can't really tell because of my eyeliner. But um, I've used better mascaras than this. But you know what? I found it and it's like having a new mascara. So I'm going to continue to use it. And then, let's see, I used my Benefit Gimme Brow, which I swear by this stuff. And for a lip liner, I used the Lady Bold Too Faced in Limitless Life. I love these lip liners. I've been using this one for a while. You click the bottom and it clicks up the liner so that you can use it. And it's just so creamy and defining. If you don't want any tugging on your lips, and it really does help keep my lipstick on. The filler, I used my Superstay Vinyl Ink Maybelline New York in Cheeky. This is pretty old, but I think I've only used it like twice. And this is pretty old. I've only used it like two or three times, and it still has a lot of product inside. So I decided to 
put that on as a subtle lipstick. And I think I covered all the bases for you guys today. Be well, be blessed, be beautiful because you are. Because there is nobody else on the planet like you. Remember, I'm trying to get to 24,000 subscribers. And then I will do another giveaway. We'll spin the wheel. And when I reach that, I am planning on putting a bunch of things in a box and shipping it out to the winner. So again, have a wonderful weekend. Happy Easter and find joy. Find joy in this weekend. Find joy in your life. Do what you love. And feel the blessings of being who you are in this world today no matter your age. Bye, my friends. Take care. See you soon.